So Polaroid has been around for probably around 70 years at this point, and it has definitely come like a very, very long way. From super analog to having Bluetooth connectivity, Polaroid has literally been giving people what they want for many years. A camera that just prints a photo instantly. It's already printed. It's already good to go. It's framed up and everything for you to display or do whatever you want with it. And that is the subject for today's video, Polaroids. <laughs> Today we're going to be shooting Polaroids and the camera that I'm going to be using this week is called the Polaroid One Step Plus. Uh, I don't know, it just looked pretty cool mechanically and all that other stuff, you know, had buttons, dials, all that cool stuff, you know, it's, it's kind of my kink. <laughs> Alright, step one, get yourself a Polaroid. If you don't have one, buy one or ask a friend to borrow one. Step two, there are a lot of little things that you have to learn about the Polaroid. It has its own quirks depending on which camera. Now the One Step Plus that I have is perfect for those nice daytime awesome little landscape photos but if you're shooting at night you're definitely going to want to turn on that flash. Now a lot of Polaroids have different button types which is weird and it just depends on what you're doing. If you're shooting with flash just hit the button. If you're shooting without the flash you would hold a secondary button and press that button in front you would take a photo without flash. When would you take a photo without a flash you might ask? Well in the daytime when there's a lot of light. You want as much light as possible when taking these photos, mainly because you might end up with stuff like this, underexposed, literally an empty black frame, and you don't want that. But you might ask, when would you use a flash? You would definitely want to use a flash at nighttime. Also, if you're indoors and think you can get away with not using a flash, think again, you're gonna have to use a flash. You don't want to end up with a black frame or just something that's way underexposed. Now the range of the flash usually tells you like on the camera, it would be like one feet to three feet. Oh shit, I didn't even know I had that. <laughs> so definitely pay attention to these because I've definitely shot some stuff where I was a little bit further from the camera and the flash didn't really, I guess, work. You can see this photo of me like sitting at a table eating. As you can see, the food is illuminated, but not me. So definitely keep your subjects in that range, one feet to three feet, so that the flash can definitely illuminate your subject. Now, one particular feature that I liked was that you can use this camera with your phone and use it as like an actual manual type camera. That is probably one of the reasons why I purchased this one. I'm already used to like shooting manual mode and all that other stuff. You know, it'd be cool to get Polaroid with manual mode that honestly feels like a good combo it was very similar to using a regular DSLR camera I was just surprised I was just like holy shit I didn't know this thing could take pictures at night we have like the settings right here I'm at four seconds f14 and what I read on the internet the ISO of the film is 640 so let's see what we get I guess But yeah, it was pretty fun to shoot some stuff at night. It was honestly pretty fun to be walking around in my old neighborhood with this new Polaroid just taking photos. I took photos of stuff that I've taken before, but because it was with the Polaroid, it just felt brand new. I don't know what it is. I've shot them in like the appropriate focal length to where it is in focus. I feel like the lens has a little bit of fuzziness to the point where it's a soft, it's it's very soft on focus. Almost every frame that I've taken just looks like a distant memory. And I like that. That's the whole point of Polaroid. Now I have been shooting with a Polaroid for about two and a half months so far. And I really like it because I have a certain amount of slides. You definitely will want to shoot a little bit more methodically and just like pick and choose, you know? What I like to do is just kind of take memory things you know what i mean this camera is literally made for that it's so nice to see those photos after you've taken them so now we got to talk film 
Now the cool thing about using this camera is that the film is not as expensive as the others. The ones that I usually got was just the regular eye types, which are these ones. They're in the yellow package and they go around $17 each. A pack of them, which is like five packs of 40, it's about $70. So you're basically paying less the more you buy. Honestly, my suggestion is just stock up on as much as you can. Just cause you never know when the moment might hit, you know, you end up missing it because you didn't have enough packs. It's nice to have like an extra one on hand just in case you see something you like. But not only that, they also have the black and white film. And I did shoot some black and white. It's pretty fun. It's pretty nice. Check these out. <laughs> Tell me what you guys think. And then there's some specialty t fuck. And then there's also some specialty type film, like the Golden Moments Edition. Now, this pack of film is more expensive than like the regular packs. This one cost $32, like literally a two pack. You can't buy them in bulk. You gotta buy those two packs for 32 bucks. It's a little bit more on the pricier side, but I mean, I use these more for portraits and they do look pretty nice. My favorite one that I've used so far was the black frame one, mainly because I'm like a nighttime photographer. You know, I shot some stuff at night and with the black frame, it looks 10 times better. Now the black frame does go for like a dollar more, a dollar or two more, I think. The more you use this camera, the more you are gonna spend. Just keep that in mind. If you're into photography and it's a hobby of yours and you just like vintage or instant print cameras, go for it, man. You know what I mean? Do you do you. I became obsessed and bought way too much stuff but it's honestly been pretty fun. I haven't taken anything with my digital camera in months. One funny thing that I remember was like back in the day, you gotta shake it so that it could process and it's like, no, I finally learned that you're not supposed to do that. We've been lied to for so many years. It's not instant instant, but it does take a little bit of time to develop the photo. It usually ranges about 10 to 15 minutes to get like a nice perfect exposure. Definitely just do what the box tells you and just put it in a pocket, cover it, basically shield it from light until it's done developing. And then you can show it off to your friends. Polaroid has like so many weird and cool cameras out there. Take your pick, you know? I actually have like the very first Polaroid that they made, which is the Model 95B, I think. Doesn't matter which one you go use. This has definitely been a fun experience. It's been fun just walking around with this thing, taking stuff, capturing memories and just having them displayed, ready to go. <laughs> go out there, get yourself a Polaroid, experiment, spend some money on some film, but obviously have fun doing it. I guess I'll see you guys next time. See ya.